Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take something in your background like this whiteboard right here and use something called masking to add text to it or possibly turn it into a screen like you might see on a news report. I'm gonna show you this in Descript, but the principles are the same if you were to try this in another software. And this is the exact same clip that you just saw at the opening of this video. So to do this, to apply the masking effect, that's what this is called is masking. I'm gonna select the layer that I want to apply this to. And I'm just gonna right click on it, say copy. I'm gonna come up above and say paste. And now I have an identical copy overlaying the script layer. And what I'm gonna do to this top copy is go to layer and then come down to effects, hit this plus button and apply green screen. And I'm only applying it to the top one. So what it's gonna do is remove everything but me on this top layer and then behind it, layered behind it, is the original one. So I'm still gonna be able to see the background. And then what I'm gonna do is gonna take a moment to apply, but while I'm waiting for that, I'll explain what's gonna happen. I'm gonna apply either my text or my screen that I'm showing between my top layer and my bottom layer. And you can see these are slightly off. So here's my, here's my one with green screen applied with the background removed. And it's a little bit small, so I can see the one behind it. So just for the sake of making this easy, I'm gonna go ahead and make these identically sized. And I'm looking at the size and position box here, and I'm comparing the X and Y and the height and width of these two to make sure that they're identical so that they're perfectly overlapping each other. Okay, there we go. Now you can't tell the difference between these two layers. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and mute this top layer. So I'll select this top layer, my, the one that has green screen applied. And I'm gonna mute it. That way we don't get any echo, even though they're perfectly lined up, there could still be a little bit of an echo or noise distortion. So I just clicked on this little speaker right here and that's gonna mute that layer. Next, I'll go ahead and add my text. So let me do a caption. So I'll just go to this caption button on the right side, click on that. I'm gonna say this scene and I'm gonna find my favorite caption, this one right here, applying caption, and there it goes. And you can see my caption layer, but my caption layer is currently on top, so this doesn't quite do what I want it to do yet. So what I'm gonna do is click on my layer with the green screen, right click on it, come to layer order, and click bring to front. And there we go, that's it. That now is the look I'm going for, the masking look, where it looks like I'm in front of it and the text is on the board behind me. So just like that. And the principle is the same. Let me go ahead and delete this caption layer. The principle is the same if I were showing my screen, for example, or another piece of media. So let me go to, let me say like weather chart, like I'll pretend I'm a weatherman. Okay, I'll take this one right here. So I'll just click on it to apply it. Or if this was a video that you had from a screen recording or anything else, the principle would be the same. So once again, it puts this on top. So right now it's covering me. So what I'm gonna do is right click on the layer once again, layer order, I'm gonna say send backward. And now I'm in front of it. But the problem is that my weather report is too big. I wanna still be able to see my original background. So I need to resize that layer. So I'm gonna click on this one that says climate change summer. I have it highlighted. And then I'm gonna come over to size and position. And I'm just gonna drag the width here. You could also click in there and type in a number to resize it. And there we go, it's much smaller. And I'm gonna, if I try to move something, my layer of me is on top, so I can't select the layer below it. So what I'm gonna do is come over to scene. I'm gonna take the, the top layer here and I'm gonna lock it. And now if I click, I'm not gonna be moving that layer and I can move the one behind it like that. And there it is, now it's filling up my whiteboard. I could resize it like that so it fills up the whole thing. And let me just click away so I'm not selecting the layer anymore. And there we go. That's how you can create masking in Descript.